Alright, sorry for the absence of videos recently, but I've decided that I need to make another one. And I thought, I actually haven't been through my hill climbs, uh, like, results at all, or, like, how the whole season was. So I thought, you know what, well, let's go through it all, and, you know, I'll show you the power data behind it, and the results, and just generally how I think it went. So a couple people have been complaining that I haven't had too many spreadsheets on, so we've got our first proper set spreadsheet. So obviously this just has all my hill climbs that I've done so uh, done in a year. Um, the duration, power, weight, what's per kilo, where I came, and obviously the date. So at the moment it's done in a chronological order. So my first one of the year, as you can see here, is Dursley. Um, just to tell you that this is the units and minutes here. So when it's like 0.13, that means that obviously it's like five minutes and 15 seconds or like you know it's like in seconds so obviously like 9.7 isn't actually 9.7 minutes it's like 40 seconds um just to make sure that's clear which i don't think i have cleared up at all but anyway so start you can see weight was 61 60 got it down to 59 i got below that to 58 and a half for some races um and you know in training sometimes i was lower but i don't really feel like it actually helped much i got the same watts per kilo so if we look just bit, we're going to go through the weight first. So look here, I did 380 watts at 661, so 6.2 watts per kilo. And here I did 12 watts less, so slightly more watts per kilo. But for me, especially on the UK hill climbs, I think a lot of them that I did especially aren't super steep. Um, especially this Chippenham Wheelers one I did like half, it was pretty much flat. So just having more watts is more important. Um, so I decided that actually 59 kilos, I can, I can keep pretty comfortably. It's not very hard. Um, I just have to watch what I eat a little bit. Um, and like obviously it's it's not too bad and in terms of numbers i seem like i hit my best numbers um so yeah like in terms of duration like most of them as you can see were quite short um nationals was less than three minutes um we're gonna get onto that because i was pretty disappointing but the rest of the season was pretty good the longest hit it was poor lock which was again not great um i sort of blew up towards the end but i think that was because i was focusing too much on eating while I was eating and just slight, would slightly underfuel myself before hill climbs, which is just stupid. Um, but I never did that in training, so my numbers in training were always quite good, so it was a bit confusing. But then, as soon as I started whacking my bowl of rice and smoothie before hill climbs, uh, the numbers came back, as you can see here, where they really started to come back up again. And some of my best results, like team tour was 6.6 .6 watts per kilo for six minutes, which I was really happy about. And I think that was probably numbers wise um in terms of like, you know, compared to other people, I think that's my best result of the year. So I, I was pretty happy with that one. Um, so yeah, if we go just through through the year, you can see like the numbers were going up. So obviously I wasn't doing similar duration, but you can see here like going from 380 watts for five minutes to close to, you know, six minutes at 382. So obviously that's an improvement. And then Newbury Bello uh, was doing like close to 400 for four minutes. So that was again, quite a big step up. And then Chippenham Wheelers was, was quite a bad one, but I think again, you know, that was just not eating enough. But then after Chippenham Wheelers, I started then just actually like doing what I do on training. Um, and my numbers here, 7.4 uh, watts per kilo for three and a bit minutes. I was pretty happy with, pretty similar to what I did last year. Um, Team Tour, again, was, was similar. Uh, and Bristol South, again, was on Burrington. And, you know, it wasn't the best day out, but still 360 watts isn't too shabby. But I think what I'm going to show you, um, and with regards to Nationals, um, and it will show you why Nationals were such a disappointment. Obviously, if you can see here that I did two, for two minutes, 45 seconds, I did 440 watts. And you can see for you, uh, for the hill climb, at Belmont, um, the UBCC one, it was, you know, 435 for, you know, 30, 40 seconds longer. So obviously that's pretty disappointing. Um, and, you know, if we look this, so this is my power curve. Obviously my link for Strava is below. So love us a follow. That'd be very much appreciated. Um, and you can see all my training as I build up for time trials this year and maybe road races, but I'm not 100% sure they're going to go on. So uh, this this column here is basically my hill climb season, and this is like all of 2020, but we'll change it to a couple other years, um, like last year, which obviously wasn't very, well, last year was quite good actually until I crashed, and then 2018 again was my last time I did actual hill climbs. So if you look at sort of the, the low duration, like, you know, 5 seconds, 820 watts, which I think is quite important, my 20 second power has got better recently, um, especially my 10 second power, but still none of this is great. Um, I did 540 watts for a minute. Um, which was quite good on the 1st of October. Um, and if we look at my two minute power, which I was which I was quite happy about, I did 480 watts for the 11th of October. If you check here, there wasn't a race on the 11th of October. This was in training, I did 480 watts. So I thought, you know, I've done 480 watts for two minutes 45 before um, in 2018, different power meter. So, you know, maybe slightly read slightly differently, but even so I thought 
that's what I'd be able to do for nationals. Um, but alas, that, that was not the case. I was quite a lot lower. I sort of paced it, so I went not too hard because I knew the steep part was at the end, but I just blew up really. Um, but I was pretty happy to hit 480 watts for two minutes. It was good for me because coming back from my injury, like my short sp like sprints are just horrendous. So before my injury, I could hit 1100 watts um, for one second. My best five second is about 1080, I think. Um, no, 1050 maybe. And now I can't hit a thousand watts. I haven't hit a thousand watts since my crash. And that, that's why when nationals being so short, I knew it was going to be really hard. So I focused a lot on the shorter efforts, a lot of doing, especially a lot of like 40 seconds intervals. So you can see here, like I was doing 645 watts for like 30 seconds and stuff. So I was really happy with those numbers, but it just didn't really correlate. Um, again, you can see like Belmont here was like 430 watts. Um, for the three minutes, which again is is pretty good, and then you can see Newbury Bellow as well. You can sort of see the hill climbs because they drop off massively. Was again like four hundred watts for four minutes, which is okay. It's twenty watts off what I've ever, my best ever, but um, it's still I I was the lightest I've ever been there. But you can also see like six minutes ten at three hundred ninety watts is is almost the best power. So um, now we're gonna go to twenty nineteen, which is when I was at my peak. So you can see like my twenty minute power then was three hundred fifty watts. Um, which is obviously like super, super good. And you can see like from 10 minutes onwards, I didn't get anywhere close. But if we look here, I was like 10 watts off and my last power meter was in stages and potentially over red. I don't know. I think it didn't overread that much, maybe a couple watts. Um, but I was two kilos lighter. So when I did 400 watts for six minutes, I was 61 kilos. Um, and this time I was 390 watts or 388, but I was 59 kilos. Um, so that's my best ever watts per kilo. So in that regards, I'm very happy because I know that in terms of the level, I'm I'm very close to the level I was in some regards to my to, to 2019. Obviously, 2019 I didn't do hill climbs. This was just general road race stuff. Um, but you can see here, like, look, I did a um, 1,100 watts here. You know, for five seconds over a thousand watts, and I can I can't get close to that at the moment. Um, you can also see here, like, at the end of a road race, I did 515 watts for a minute 20, and now like fresh, I can do 500 for that period so you can see the short stuff isn't is really not great but the longer stuff i'm really happy about and to be honest like overall as a hill climb season i'm really happy with how it went obviously i can't really compare to like 2019 just because we didn't know like my crash i broke my leg arm uh ribs a lot of them back brain surgery like it was pretty bad but you know ultimately getting back to the same level is going to be quite hard but i think Judging due to lockdown, it actually meant that I had a lot more time to ride my bike um, because uni was basically cancelled. So I was at home. So obviously I didn't get to see my mates, but that meant all the time I did see my mates or would have seen my mates, I could just train. So I actually put in a lot of hours this year and it's been a pretty solid year. And then 2018 is was my last time in the hill climbs. But you can see here that like, OK, you know, 2018 was slightly higher power for like two minutes, 20, like 20 watts higher. But I was a good two kilos I was 61, 62 for most of my hill climbs. I hit 60 for nationals. Um, and you can see, like, for nationals, I did 480 watts for, like, um, for 2 minutes 40. So, obviously, that's, like, 8 watts per kilo. But I didn't come close to that this year. But, anyway, I'm still still pretty happy overall. Um, and I guess at the moment, you know, you just have to focus on the positives, which is obviously, like, I got pretty close to what I could have done. Um, the season altogether was good. Like, I had a really consistent training block. Um, and I think overall, yeah, it was good. I was I was happy with it. And now we're just building towards time trials. If you want me to do any like videos about my time trial bike, well, I mean that is happening. I just need to sort it out and actually film it when it's light, um, because it's I've I've got a really good position now and I've got some really cool stuff on it, um, which I think I definitely really want to show you. And then also just in terms of my training, like I'm doing a bit of sprints at the moment, but mainly it's just gonna be tempo work and just build for TTs because I know they're gonna be on, and I know that road races are an if but to be honest my my approach for road races and time trials is really similar um last year at least in 2019 when i only for when i did road races and that was basically all my training like all i did was 30 15s and eight minute efforts and that was literally it. all the rest was zone two and then races built up the fitness so i think in terms of time trials i'll do slightly longer efforts because the longest efforts i did for 2019 was only maybe eight minutes so i'll do slightly longer efforts because if i want to you know focus on an hour time trial it is important to be able to ride hard more psychologically than physiologically um for that sort of length of period so maybe do more 30 minute blocks of tempo but i know that i can get a massive threshold by just doing easy zone two most of the time and then you know two efforts a week like 30 15s and and uh eight minute efforts maybe six minute efforts 
And I know for me that works very well. Um, and it also showed in hill climbs this year, like my threshold was going up massively. Um, I'm going to do a threshold test recently. I was 310. So 310, at, I don't know what way I'm probably at 67 or something now. Like 63 is like just around five words per kilo FTP. So it's not it's not bad. Um, and hopefully that will get closer back to five and a half, which is what it was before. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you've got any questions about my training or any video ideas, just let me know because obviously it's off season. So there's not too much pro racing to go on. There's not much racing on my own to do. Um, but alas, I'll still try to keep some videos going uh, because it'll be rude not to and I enjoy making them. So see you in the next one.